turn up to this one Worcester Bosch combi boiler customer was saying that the hot water kept going hot and cold first thing I'm going to do is try it for myself it is pretty lukewarm so we're going to whip the case off whip the control panel down to have a look inside first thing I'm going to check is is a diverter valve in the right place check the motor's okay yeah all the way up that's hot water that's fine let's have a feel of the plate the plate's red hot boiler was literally cutting off although there was no hot water coming out of tap so the first thing I'm going to do is change the sensor isolate the cold open the tap to take the pressure off in my experience it's always worth replacing the sensor first before you commit to changing the plate the customer would much prefer a bill for a new sensor than they would for a new plate get the grips on the old one pull it out it is pretty worn to be fair you see the condition of the new one pop that one in and give that a try So with that in, it's all fired up. It's still poor. There's not even any hot water leaving the boiler. So unfortunately, we've got to commit now to changing the plate. No wonder the plate's blocked up. I mean, look at the state of that for a start. So I don't take the hydro block out because water always drips on the PCB. So I just take the pump out and then move the left hand manifold over a little bit and you can get it out. Even with the pipes at the back, you can see how blocked that one is compared to the new one. The old one was a 16 plate, the new one's a 14, so it should go in a lot easier. Have a coffee first, midway through. Tools and parts lay across the battlefield. Plate's now in. Put it all back together. Boiling hot water at the tap. Customer's happy, I'm happy, sun's shining, happy days.